The Typical Customer Experience. Chapter 1. All operators are busy at this time. Please hold. Chapter 2. Sir, that's not our fault. You really should read the terms and conditions. Chapter 3. Thank you for calling. Chapter 4. Thank you for calling our customer service line. Please enter your account number now. Customer service. Sir, you need to give me your account number before I can help you. In these scenarios, believe it or not, the customer's problem was finally solved. And the company's internal data shows that these interactions are successful. The fact is, although the company fixed the problem, the customer wasn't happy. The company lost sight of a critical component of the experience, emotion. Neglecting emotion happens all too often. According to the 2015 Temkin Experience Ratings, across 20 industries, emotion is the lowest scoring component of customer experience. So let's try this again. Sir, I'm so sorry you're having this issue. I know how frustrating it must be. I'll help you solve this and make sure everything gets taken care of. That's what I'm here for. In this scenario, wait a minute. Why am I still talking like this? <clears throat> in this scenario, the representative acted in a way that created a positive emotional experience for the customer. Even the most dire situations present an opportunity to focus on a customer's emotional experience. But most companies don't think enough about it. They should. A positive emotional experience is not only better for the customer, it's better for the company. How a customer feels about an interaction is the most significant driver of customer loyalty. Compared with customers who have a poor emotional experience, those with a positive one are more than six times as likely to purchase again, more than 12 times as likely to recommend the company, and more than five times as likely to forgive the company's mistakes. Not everyone is missing the boat. In fact, these guys are industry leaders in the Temkin emotion ratings. In summary, if your customers happen to be robots, well, you have nothing to worry about. But if your customers are human, then you need to care about their emotions. For more information, visit temkingroup.com.